Hello everyone and welcome to the show, I'm Zoot and I am here with Nebula who is going to be hosting the Defrag World Cup Round 4 recap with me. Hello Nebula, how is it going? Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back. Doing absolutely awesome. And we've got one more guest with us actually, we have got Dex, arguably one of the best VQ3 Defrag runners on the globe at the moment. Dex, are you with us? Yeah, yeah. hello guys. Awesome, to, awesome. To Brilliant, man. Uh, I've already been speaking to you guys a little bit before the stream, obviously, because I've been very excited to get to round number four already, and also very excited to talk to you, Dex. I asked you before about how much time have you personally spent on the runs this week, but I'll, I'll ask you more formally on the stream and tell us a little bit about how your week has been uh, in the Defrag World Cup. Well, this time I have played a lot of time, about three, four hours per day. Mm -hmm. I think only on Thursday I have a break because there was some football matches <laughs> and some beer with friends. Uh, but the rest of time I have played uh, mostly it's very CPM physics. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately uh, I played wrong road. Yeah. But anyway, I'm pretty glad with short time. Dude, you yeah. did really well. This, uh, yeah, this is pretty. You... Let me show you guys. I'll show. I'll show everyone on the stream right now. Hopefully, you guys are going to be able to see this. Oh, if I just widen that out, it looks better. Yeah. Okay. So, what we we've got some pretty elite guests on the moment because Dex, you got top three in CPM and top two in VQ3. Wait, are are you not upset not getting number one in in the VQ3? Yeah, I'm pissed off a bit, <laughs> but but uh, uh, to be honest, I uh, finished this map uh, with this road only three times, so oh, wow. uh, that's some kind of fair, I think. I mm -hmm. guess uh, Shine played more, so he yeah. uh, win. win uh, yeah, it's, he, a, it's a pretty difficult route. It is. Uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay that he win. <laughs> it's okay, you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Too it's much. Last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nebula, of course, you managed to get top five in the CPM this week and top three in the VQ3. That's like your your best running so far in the Deep Rock World Cup. How do you feel of that? It is. I'm very happy with that. Um, I was actually expecting to barely get into the top ten with CPM, so wow. that really makes me happy. Awesome. And then VQ3, um, luckily we were trying that really fast route and uh, we were able to to complete that pretty quickly and it, it is kind of hard but it, once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy mm -hmm. you just have to have max rockets yeah that's i was looking at some of the runs as well and it's really how much acceleration can you get from all of the rockets and it's not even just acceleration it's also the the height you're getting off the ground so that you don't actually cock up the jumps <laughs> to begin with and it looks like some very very complex things uh of course when we looked at the map last week guys it looked like my head was completely destroyed at what was going on the map. And you know what, guys? I'm going to show you a little bit of what I would have done. Okay, let's just get into this. Uh, what I would have done if I was running uh, the Defrag World Cup this week. Uh, let's see if I can okay, find let's it. Have a look at that. <laughs> this is. Uh, I don't want to like. I don't know if this guy spent much time at all. I, I don't believe so. It's Saint, Saint Pierre and Michelon uh, did a <laughs> run, and uh, this this is how I would have approached the map. Uh, I will look at a top-down view of the map in a couple of moments. Right, he makes it across. I probably would have struggled with that quite a lot uh, myself. And here he going. This is this is you know. Do you see these big yellow lights in the sky? Uh, and this is kind of what I expected the run to be about. You go forward. There you go. You get another checkpoint. He's got two of them now. He's gonna go and get himself the third. And then. Beautiful. Now you can make your way over. You've hit all the checkpoints. And I feel, I feel like this. If this was this map was an RPG game, then this is exactly what you have to do. And then all the runs are going to look out very shortly. I feel like these are the guys who just completely hacked the game and found the the warp zones like you get in the you know the Ocarina of Time uh, speed runs yeah. and just breaking the game completely. But I won't play the whole demo because it's actually quite long. This guy obviously eventually gets over to this pad and zips over to the oh. end. Uh, I think Hanji uh, uh, like your road. I, I yeah, I, my 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 route would have would have sucked to be honest. But, but uh, can, I explain, can I 
I explain something about that, that map real quick? Sure. Uh, those three yellow switches or yellow orange switches, what they do is they activate three pads mm -hmm. near the end so you can strafe on them if yeah. you do it the long way. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. The long way. There's uh, there, we got we got some cool runs to to show you guys uh, in a bit. I, I asked Dex already, but Nebula, how much time did you spend on on the runs this week, and how was like the whole process for you? Oh man, yeah, I spent like maybe three hours a day at least. At least. So I, I spent a lot of time doing that and a lot of time failing. <laughs> so, uh, and you'll see that later on when we show some uh, some outtakes or alternate routes. <laughs> At least you guys are getting some really good results. I spent two hours yesterday on a map called Hang Time One, which is basically, if you don't know it, it's, it's a map that's got sort of six different chambers, and in each chamber is like a gauntlet of many different kind of strafe techniques you have to use in order to get over into the next part of that of the gauntlet run. And then when you finish one gauntlet, you get over to the the second of the six chambers. It, I I got a I didn't come last. I was 67th out of 68, and I got a, a runtime of one hour and 51 minutes. Oh, like, you weren't last. So I wasn't was last. last place. I don't know who was last place, but it wasn't me. So, ha to everyone. Hooray! Uh, and I think it was. Thank you. I think it was Noodles and Th Thomas or Thompson and uh, Bionics and some people who were helping me out of the run. I think there was quite a lot of people who were sort of contributing and telling me, do, do this, do that. And because I was half the time, I was confused as hell because when I played Defrag, most of these strafe techniques, I don't know, weren't. it's not that they weren't being used, but they weren't in the runs that I was I was playing. But anyway, um, let's, should we start, guys? Should we start looking at the runs? Yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, sure. 53 sure. again. Oh, I'm not doing that. Just see if I can. Oops. There we go. I can find my way in. All right, I'm currently on CPM, so let's move out of that. Right. So we got top twenty this time because it's not like last week where we had three rounds to catch up on. So uh, twenty rounds. We're twenty runs. We're looking at in each discipline. And at the very beginning, we've got a Belarusian. I think this is the only Belarusian in top twenty. Maybe one of the few Belarusians in the uh, in the World Cup, in fact. So IDM, he's going first. Hopefully, guys, the stream looks alright. I think it, for some reason the game's not stretched, and I'm kind of intrigued about that because I thought I did stretch it uh, on the outside. So I wonder if there's a way for me to fix that. But let's have a look at the run he uses. And he takes, he takes, he goes on the right side. He you know gets a couple of rockets. He hasn't got any left over here. He's just used all the rockets he can in order to get to that last pad uh, to jump straight over. And actually, that's, that is, you know, it's top twenty. It's five seconds behind first, but that's actually to me looked like when I first looked at it, it's like, wow, this is this is a sick run. I had no idea you could complete the map <laughs> in this yeah, kind right. of way. It, it's yeah, it's, 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 it was route. okay. It was the first road we mm -hmm. tried to play. And then we start to develop it. Uh, I'm just trying to. Uh, Even better. Sorry, guys. I'm j I'm literally just trying to uh, sort this out so that uh, we can get the full screen. So give me one second. I thought this was done already. Getting oh, is it in four three? It's yeah. It looks kind of strange. So all right, let's try this out and see if it does anything. Um, did you want to talk about this run, Dex? Uh, <coughs> let's see some demos. Do you no. want to see Nick now instead of IDM? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. This is only a tenth a, a tenth difference between these two players. Yeah, Nick's route is pretty different from everybody else's. Is this the run that I think it is, or? Yeah, with the three times rocket. Yeah. Oh, okay, God, guys, I can't get the uh, game looking right, but look at this. Watch this go. Triple rocket jump all the way over there. I, you know, I don't care that it's not the fastest run, I just think he should be awarded extra points for style there, because <laughs> that's just awesome, to be honest. Let's, we've got to watch that again, I'm afraid. I mean, I'm not afraid yeah, at all. It's a beautiful road. Yeah, and that's what's so special about this map, is there's so many routes that you can take. Let's look at this now, and uh, oh, it's not just yet. Alright, so around here, he gets the speed to go forward, to travel at similar speed to the rocket, get the height, and there's a second rocket, and then... So both the rockets landing at the same time. Yeah, perfectly landing the rockets. Really nice. I wonder how many tri times he tried that out. 
That was that was awesome. Oh, fair, fair play, Nick. You are you're an absolute beast. Uh, let's move over next. It, it's, uh, all the 22s, there's just a tent between all of them, and it's not <laughs> until we get much later on that you suddenly see the large jumps in, you know, times being uh, written. So, boss, he is number 18th, if my memory serves me correctly. Looks like he's going to go, be going to the left on this one. Or maybe he's cu he's cutting back in. This is like the beginning of uh, one of the more successful routes, but he's changed it a lot right here. Yeah, he goes left there. And on the top, and he rockets to the first bed. I mean, I like the end of his run, and I like the beginning of his run, but there's so much sort of slow time. Uh, I'm going to go back to that. So much sort of slow time in the middle. I'm kind of wondering, okay, so here, it looks good, and it's like, alright, he's going to get into the beast run right now, he's going to jump across, but then he can just slows down a lot. So, ducking underneath, where he's going less than 500 UPS at one point. He starts picking it up right about here, and it looks really good. But, you know, by that point, you've already killed three, four seconds of time. Well, nice anyway to get top 18, so well played. Hello, I'm Faust, man. I'm glad you're enjoying the defrag. Um, do you not? Do you guys know these players? The boss, uh, Nick. The boss is a uh, mentor, I think. Mentor. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. That's, yeah, that's the same guy that we were reviewing last time. Gotcha. So he was in top ten last time in that case. In top tens, even. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But it showed it's quite difficult because he... unless you're communicating the times with each other, no one really had a clue. Who was the fastest? I guess. Sorry, Dex, I interrupted you. The boss uh, was doing better in CPM, I think. Yeah. Oh, we will yeah. see some CPM uh, shortly. Let's go to Thelda or the Elder. The Eldia. Yeah, I think it's the Elder. I'm pretty sure. Ah. Uh -huh. There was some Russian guy with name and the uh, Elder. Yeah. But this one is different, I think. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a quick live guy called Elder, that's a good point. So oh, he, yeah. he also picks a kind of a, f a fast beginning of the run, and then it slows down a lot. Then, you know, they do not, maybe not using uh, the rockets as wisely as possible, as we'll be seeing later on. Uh, you know, where Strangeland is absolutely kicking Dex's ass. <coughs> <laughs> Well, so I'm, lo I'm looking at that run again, so it goes into the side, he's not wall clipping on that part at all, but it gets to jump up, and you'll see later on that people jump to the right to get a couple more rockets, I think. But definitely a big improvement, or a big change of pace from some, a couple of the earlier runs that we've seen already. And, uh, nicely done, uh, the, el the Elder. Alright, so we've got, we got pol.poland. Yeah, I guess it's... Parenthesis. Mostly strafer. That's Mostly okay. Strafer. Now there's a joke in the Quake Live community that every player has got sort of Poland name underscore dot pole, and then a clan tag afterwards in brackets Poland. And this guy has taken it to the next level. His actual nickname is Paul. <laughs> this <laughs> this yeah, is so extreme. This guy, yeah, he usually does do strafe maps a lot. I, I haven't really seen him do weapon maps. Ooh, this is an interesting run. He's got a lot of rockets. He's gonna take it to the max right now. He's getting a lot of rocket jumps going, picking up the speed. <laughs> now that's pretty cool. He like he gets some good speed at the end, but it's amazing that he was able to make up so much time for what was actually a really slow start. I'm gonna look at that again where he picks up the items at the beginning. Now, are these the kind of runs that you guys were running through as well? Yeah, these these uh. two that goes through. Not this one particularly, but the uh, rank 20. Yeah, we've been we were doing that at first. So how many decks? How many different runs uh, or routes did you take before you decided, hey, this is the one I'm going to stick to? Um, I think three. Three. Or, or three or, f or four. The first road, same like uh, I think, um, first demo was, IDM. Hmm. Um, then uh, something like um, I don't know, maybe later someone will uh, done with it. You, then you... some two X rockets, and then Nebula came some 
day <laughs> and, and show the crazy road. So, so yeah, yeah. Fastest road. Fastest road, yeah. Ne yeah. Nebula solved it, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah this time. Okay. Well, <laughs> the, the boss with that guy there <laughs> solved it, guys, right, right here below me. He worked it all out. Uh, we're gonna go on Zerg. I understand that there's a stream that's already showed this uh, run quite a few times. Oh, wait. Did you do, uh, yeah. <laughs> did, did I miss a run, sorry? Yeah, you missed Vapor. Oh, sorry. Okay, we'll go to Zerg in a moment. Vapor, this is your teammate, isn't it, Nebula? Yeah, it is, but I actually didn't see any demo of him, though, so maybe he was really busy this week. Because you are carrying Vapor this week, man, with the, the top five, top three. Does it only top three count and he's got to contribute to the rest of the points? Um... I don't even know how the team stuff works, actually, like how the points are added up, but I presume it's like an, uh, you know, both the runs put together. No? Yeah, you could... It's just like uh, you get the points for a team just like you would in single. Um, yeah, you just add them up. But if you're with Vapor, and even though you got the two fastest runs between you and Vapor, you can't have both your runs adding up. It has to be your one of your runs oh, and right, one of his. Oh, right, right. I, I see what you're saying now. Yeah, Vapor is my VQ3 teammate, sorry. Um, oh, so his so VQ3 whatever... time goes up. Right, yeah. I didn't understand what you were saying. <laughs> I know I'm English, but it's not that bad, Jesus. Alright, <laughs> let's, let's look at uh, Zergs uh, and see what, he, what he's up to. And it was GNJ as well who made this map, and I think fair play mate, you made an awesome map. I made a comment on IRC earlier that it's not just a run map, it's like a freestyle run map on top of that, so... It is, yeah. And I like, I like what Zerg did, getting the items, but again, spending quite a lot of time picking up rockets, using them well, but then wasting those seconds getting it, so maybe needing to be a little bit more efficient in the way that he's picking up uh, ammunition around the map. Um, that run's been done a lot already, so I'm not going to play it again, sorry. So uh, yeah, yeah. What, he, what he's talking about is um, Zerg has his own Russian stream, mm -hmm. and he plays his demo a lot in timescale, uh, about 10 times for some reason. It's like, nobody, want, nobody wants to see your demo if it's not in top 10. I mean, come on. To be honest, when I get like a really cool run, like I don't play as much as you guys, but when I played Race or when I play a bit of Defrag and I get a run that I'm quite proud of, even if it doesn't compare to any of the best ones, I know that I do sit on my own and I might put it on YouTube and play it to myself about 30 times over just because I'm like vain or just enjoying the my own achievement, but... I won't. I won't make people sit through the the painful process. I mean, I don't want to oh, bitch yeah, about. Yeah. It. I feel like I'm a rival defrag streamer now, and I'm trying to like cuss him out. I'm not at all. It's just literally what I've read on IRC about what's happened today. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's always fun to watch your best times. I mean, mm -hmm. that's it's a challenge, and what you get out of that is uh, accomplishment. By exactly. Watching your best times. For sure. Uh, I am effortless. We have not gone through the CPM runs yet, don't worry. Uh, I don't... I've I've got a vague preference between VQ3 and, C and CPM. I prefer CPM just because I think it's a little bit more flashy, but I really have more respect for VQ3 almost because you're slightly more restricted in the movement, so being able to get the fast runs, I think... It's more impressive, but not on like a visual level, on just a sort of skill appreciation level for, uh, for me. I don't know if you guys kind of have any thoughts about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, in some ways you have more control over your air strafing. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds kind of ironic, but um, in VQ3 you can kind of cut corners. Yeah. Uh, I think the technicalities of VQ3 are like, is, is the beauty itself, but it's the visuals of CPM that I think are kind of make it, in my opinion, like the, the premier viewing material in Defrag. But uh, we're going now on to Demonor, who I've lost count, what, he's like 13th, 14th, I, I believe? And he's quite quick picking up uh, the ammunition. But here, there's a lot of strafing and not a lot of rocket firing, so he's going to lost quite a lot of time going about seven, 800 UPS. He uses the last rocket here. Gets himself over to the end, just avoiding that little pillar on the side, and... Oh my god, I'm such an idiot because I didn't even show that run on stream. Okay, right, we'll watch that again. And I'll <laughs> do the commentary all over again. The demo was one of the best rocket runner. <laughs> some, some 
years ago. I think. Oh really? He was a top yeah, a yeah. top rocketer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was. He was for sure. Did he go inactive or something, or is he just sort of more more casual than before? I think he just stopped playing so much. Fair enough. Fair enough. And look at the jump now we've got. We've got half a second jump between Demonor and Jelvan. Jelvan, we were watching a bit in the top tens the last uh, few rounds. And now he's sitting in. Jesus Christ, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's uh, sitting in 11th, I believe. No, because I don't. Lith isn't in the top 10, I think. So he must be 12th. All right, never mind, guys. My math is just not good. Like, let's just. I can't count or reverse numbers. Let's go on to uh, Gel. And this is. He was one of the people helping me with a hang time one map yesterday. He's spending quite a lot of time getting rockets. He's got six rockets at the moment, and he goes on to the left, which I I like because I know that fewer people did use the left. I guess some good speed, extra rocket because he's got it. But you know, maybe he had too much, too many rockets. What do you think of that run, uh, Dex? Mm, not effective road. <laughs> That's everything. It's kind of like a bit windy, wasn't it? He? he was taking a lot of different items, and I think. It's almost like he was making up the route he was going to take on his way through it. I know he didn't. I know it was carefully planned, but there was a lot, a lot, a lot of winding there. And this is one of the biggest fails of the week we're going to look at now. <laughs> Lith telling me that he's going to get number one in VQ3, no problem. He's teamed up with Baz, who who got number one in CPM this week. Shall I tell you guys? And uh, Lith is just sort of bringing up the rear in, I don't know, top 11, wait, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11th, and yeah, just not impressive, Lith. I know, I know, Lith, you were busy, I know you were, you were busy playing Counter-Strike and stuff like that, but no, no excuses, man. Let's see what he comes up with. <laughs> And this is kind of the start of the type of run, so that's that's a good route, isn't it? Yeah, it's the best. It's the best route. So why is he so bad? <laughs> <laughs> you should ask him <laughs> the question. 21 yeah, seconds, he, respectable. He Almost. was supposed to be on the last show, maybe we can get him on the third show. He's shy, guys. He can explain himself. He's so shy. I, I, I'm going to try and convince him to come on at some point, but... For now, we'll just have to laugh at him remotely. Um, Berserk, next, from Slovakia. Alright, so this is rank 10, this is yeah. Yeah, top 10 now, good point. And I wonder if he's going to start using the same route. No, he looks he looks up to the top, but he doesn't go for it. He, try, he tries to cut off that little bend, going a little slower, but quite efficient, using his last rocket early as possible and keeping speed up over there. It's not too bad. I feel like I feel like quite a few of the last few uh, runs have been very similar in that type of route. Apart from Lith, who was trying to mess around with the other one, but he just never actually got enough speed to make that little detour actually worth the time he invested in going through it anyway. Um, half a second or 0.4 of a second increase now up to, to Kitzel or Kickle. I don't know how you say that, Dex. Kissel. 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 Yeah. That almost sounds French. I don't want to insult you with that. Yeah, what does his name mean? Dex, is there a meaning to this name? Uh, it's uh, his uh, second name, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Kisernikov, I think. That makes sense. Oh, I like that rocket jam. We'll have a look at that rocket again. I, I, I... Very, very good player. Uh, about, I don't know, eight. Years ago. <laughs> Eight years ago. Um, we are talking some time. How long have you played for then? Um, since uh, 2005. Okay. Um, ten, yeah, years, no. 10 years. Ten years. <laughs> I've been since 2004, so we're pretty old school. Yeah. Uh, the Kassel was the one of the guy I started to play. So maybe he he was nice. teaching you if you played earlier yeah, than yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. Uh, the apprentice took over the master. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For 
And this is Ajax, and Ajax just had a defrag movie released on ES Reality, guys, that you can uh, check out. I think it's not just Ajax who's running in there. I think Nebly, you're in his movie. It's, yeah, it's yeah. It's Toka, Toka, Toka's movie. It's just uh, for uh, Haja's cup movie. Ah. Well, it's it's pretty stylish, so guys, front page of ES Reality, you can check that one out if you want. We're going to look at Ajax uh, on his run now. Yeah, unfortunately, Haja couldn't do the road to beat. It's a pretty slow time. Okay, he so yeah, that's where you see the two times rocking. Style points there. Like, definitely style points, I I'd say. Yes, it was the second road we started to use. Ah, okay. So before, you... Before, before Nebula show us. So you were all trying to do the double rocket jump route for a while? Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. 19.4 with this one. Wow. What the, is it over that, here? That was... Uh, that what I found. So we have only one thing. Oh, so 19 seconds you got with it. 19 yeah. point... I yeah, think Nebula got, sent. Yeah, 19.40. <coughs> he got some really good speed off of that. And we'll, we'll watch that later. For sure. We're, we're almost into uh, the 19s now, just before that. What is this? This is a 7th place by Sentinel from Germany. Yeah, I think he did pretty well on last Defrag World Cup. I don't even know who is he. What the hell? That oh, was, yeah. <laughs> that was a weird start. I mean, I, I'm digging his creativity here. I I, I would give a, a couple of style points for that, just because, and also just for being really different to everyone we've seen so far. Let's uh, let's have a look again because it kind of went by pretty quickly as you as you expect in uh, Defrag. So it kind of like gets over here and twiddles around, and he decides to rocket jump towards the other the other rocket ammo uh, spots. Yeah, did he gain pretty good speed from every rocket? Yeah, I mean, getting over there with almost 2,000, about 1,800 or so, that's, that's really fast. But, it uh... Reminds me, reminds me Gels road a bit. Gels? Do you want me to... Oh, um, wait, the, the way he started? Something like... Let's have a look what he's doing, a bit of half beat going on there. Yeah, it's similar. But I think he did uh, under he, the glass. Yeah, he he kind of yeah he's using the left route, but he had that rocket at the beginning, so yeah yeah yeah. Um, where are we? we go to Yotun here, and he was number one in round one, I think, for VP3. Yeah, yeah second and second round. And so dropping a couple every, of points here. Every next round he is doing. Uh, worst. <laughs> He's just gonna get a hundred. He's gonna give all his points to Dex. But sub 20 right there, so nicely done, you two. He, d he kind of, interesting little route he does. He man he Let's go over to what he does after the little translucent blue pads. He's getting the war flip going on there. Jump straight over, managed to pick up the rocket ammo here. It's the rocket jump over, and he kind of make, wants to take this uh, this little bounce pad. One more rocket. He's not got that much speed at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a like very direct route, but he's not actually ever getting super high units per second. Alright, we got another, another Russian here. We got Enter from the Undead Army. <laughs> and he's got, no, I think, 19.6, I think he was getting. Oh wow, and he actually uses this route as well. I'm, I'm amazed at how much speed these guys are getting from, you know, taking the time out to do that. So his rockets must be pretty sick then. Yeah, they are. Yeah, there's some really sick rockets. And he gets straight to the top, he doesn't even have to go up any stairs. That, that was really nice. Actually, we've got to look right. at his rockets again, because his rockets were awesome. Yeah, you, you, he could do better with right road. He's pretty good player. Are you surprised him seeing him use that root dex? Mm, no. Because when we when we're gonna see the the top guys using their root, it's, it becomes really clear that yeah, this is this is 
the fastest looking by by some margin. Uh, and look at the gap here between fifth and fourth, at 1.3 seconds. That's like a lifetime, uh, viewers in Defrag. That is a yeah. huge gap in time. It's a huge difference in Defrag. Let's uh let's have a look. It is Gopa hits harder than Tox. Or not, alternatively. And here you can see that goes straight along. He doesn't take that first pad on the on the left. And this is the one that I think Lith was trying to use, but his rockets were too sucky. It's a nice rocket there. He's got no ammo left, and he gets good speed up at the end to get himself top four. Now we're getting into sort of real pro territory here. Just as we got Nebula and Dex above here. Oh, look at that. Oh, how cute. <laughs> um, Nebula, let's check you out. You guys, I don't, I shouldn't have even said that it was you next because everyone's going to recognize that it's you by this horrible noise that's going to inflict our ears. <laughs> oh my god, that noise. <laughs> Let's just watch and enjoy. Yeah, when I uh, see this demo, I thought I even could beat it. Alright, so... Uh, let's, ch let's check it again. I'll, I want to have a look once more, so I just want to see how your rockets are. Sure. You, you were criticizing your own rockets earlier today. I want to see if, if you were right to do that, or if you were just being modest. I think I waited about two days and couldn't do this rocket. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. And then I got stuck on the stairs there. I did that like ten times, I guess. <laughs> you you, you had one of the rockets really that also didn't gain that much speed. As you were going from the last rocket ammo pad towards um, the middle, and then your penultimate rocket, I think, you didn't really gain much UPS with it. So I think right. that you, you might can, be the difference. Gain. You can't gain... Uh, almost any base from yeah. the rocket because you must do it on highest uh, hay. Okay, let's let's so see if has, uh, yeah. how yours is different. I want to see how, you, or maybe you can compare yours to Nebula's decks and tell us what the difference is here. Yeah, he basically just did it faster than me, so <laughs> <laughs> more efficient rockets. I, I think you were going about 1550 there, and Dex was going 1650. So yeah. Um, something like that, yeah. So there's not a, not a huge difference at all, but it's just managing to get a little bit more speed before you're kind of, you know, stuck with that rocket you were just describing, Dex, where you, you can't actually gain speed with them. It's just about getting the, the height, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, hey. Maximum hey from rocket. It's... So okay. that you can get to that platform. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at Strangeland, uh, the the defragger who's better than you, Dex. <laughs> like point one. A whole, <laughs> whole point one, guys. This is number one VQ three run. I'm I'm only messing, Dex. Uh, this guy got a really sick run as well, and he of course is using uh, exactly the same route. Yeah, this this is the place. Here. That rocket there, that rocket is so nice. He, th the one where you should only be getting height, he manages to go from 1650 to almost 1800. We we, we gotta yeah. look at that again, because that was that was really nicely played by Strangeland. Yeah, he's good with rockets, maybe better than me. A bit. As much as it pains you to say. Now let's uh, slow it down a bit, because it's these rockets now that are really really good. And this is where you shouldn't get UPS uh, increase, but he does. He goes to almost yeah, 1800. That's just crazy. Like, really sick play there by Strangeland. He's going to be getting the full 800 points uh, from round four in VQ3 discipline. So nicely done, Strangeland. Uh, any thoughts on that Nebula on the on the on the VQ3 side of things? Um. Not particularly, no. It's just that it's it's just a little bit harder to do that in VQ3. Mm -hmm. um, you have to get the max speed, max height. And you gotta hit it in the right place. You gotta watch out for the stairs. Just so many things to watch out for in VQ3 that you wouldn't ordinarily watch out for in CPM. 
Uh, and what's the difference really in getting those rockets? Because to me, it feels like the most minute of angles and timings uh, difference can be the can be the difference between not getting that extra speed and getting that extra speed uh, on certain rocket jumps. It's because it, it, when I'm looking at those three demos, yours Nebula and then Dex, uh, yours Dexes and uh, Dex and then um, Strange Lands, there seems so little difference between your technique, but somehow Strange Land has managed to get the, that extra speed at the end. Yeah, yeah. Like he, he gained just uh, about uh, 50 uh, additional oops. So mm -hmm. that's give him uh, a victory, I think. Yeah, I mean, just it's about 50. It's insane. Uh, so, very competitive. So, a lot of the times, um, it, it matters when you press jump and when you press fire. Mm -hmm. You have to do it, uh, you have to make sure they sync at the same time. So, it's really. Uh, critical that you do them at the same time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, and it's hard to make rocket jump when you doing it uh, on the different <coughs> hay after your last rocket. Yeah. When you just jumping on the floor, uh, it's not hard, but when you uh, getting some high, uh, it's more um, harder. Okay. Anyways. <coughs> uh, crack pipe CSGO, it is not over because we have got the uh, the CPM coming up and this is well as extremely competitive. The last thing I want to touch on VQ3 is, Dex, how aware were you of other people's runs? When you submitted your demo, did you think you were the fastest or were you unsure? Um, uh, about VQ3 or... Yeah, when, when you submitted your VQ3 demo, were yeah, you like, yeah, number one, no problem? I was sure I will be first. Wow. Yeah, I thought he was number one too. Had you two compared demos? Yeah, yeah, we were yeah, sharing yeah. sharing routes and stuff. But uh, Strange Land failed to be a part of your discussion. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and when did you actually submit your demos? Did you did you get the demo completed today for VQ3, or were you did you finish your VQ3 run earlier this week? Uh, Nebula first. Um, well, I got mine a few days ago, and then I've been trying to to uh, beat that time, the DQ3 time, and then just unsuccessful, keep hitting stairs or columns or something, so I, I figured that was good enough to get the top five. Fair enough. Dex? And apparently it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Top three, man, that's awesome. Um, Dex, when, when did you submit um, DQ3? I think I did it on Friday. On Friday? Yeah, I, I played two days without any result. And you kind of sort of brushed off your shoulder and be like, no problem, number one, once more, easy money, easy life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But then, then only 20 minutes on Friday decide everything. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, you've still got loads of points, and as far as I know, Dex, you're still leading the point. Yeah, yeah, it hasn't sure. been updated, but I still think you're number one at the moment on VQ3 as well, this Defrag World Cup. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's, um... Yeah, you, you can show the, some uh, different roads. I'll do that after. Yeah. We're going to do CPM uh, okay. Top 20, and then we'll yeah. go through the, the alternative runs. Uh, Guys, we're moving on to CPM right now. Number 20 with a time of 14.888. It's FLK from uh, Slovakia. And I'll make sure that people can actually Falky. see this time. It's, it's Falky. Falky? Oh, Falky, yeah. Yeah. And this He's is where... We're going to be seeing some air control now, guys. And uh, a big difference in runs. Yeah. I haven't seen this one before, but it seems like a very direct route that he's picked. Uh, any any thoughts on that? Let's go through uh, it again. Is this a route you guys tried? Mm, I guess no. No, not particularly like that. Just a little bit different. Yeah. It's pretty standard route. It, it looks just looks very straight to me. It just doesn't look like he's taken any sort of time to go around the sides of the map to pick up the ammo. He's just gone, well, forward is fastest. Let's do that. Get some good speed of the rockets, and it's a pretty, it's a pretty solid time. I mean, unlike uh, the top twenty of VQ3, where I think there was five seconds between first and twentieth, there's only two point three seconds on CPM between first and twentieth. And uh, now we're going to move uh, two tenths faster to Noobzorn, uh, a French defragger. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, and he places highly in the French competition as well, so he's a pretty good player. I think he, he's good with plasma boost, rocket boost, etc. Yeah, definitely. A lot of players waiting for map with something like. I heard that all the maps now are gonna be weapon with weapons included, so there's no more strafe only yeah. maps. It's all uh, all weapons uh, ad added. Uh, we're going to uh, Paul, and he's uh, number 18th, I think. Paul starts going to the left, Viz off to the right. And he doesn't, no, no extra UPS there, very little extra speed there as well. Does make it to the end. I mean, he, he got so, he had some decent momentum, but he wasn't really able to add on it. And when we get faster and faster, you're going to see that the speed is going to be dramatically increasing as we get to the, the later stages uh, of the map. But uh, number 17 now is uh, Storm. It's a good bot maker or script maker. <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing crazy runs with scripts. I like his Just rockets. For fun. I want to look at his run again actually because I really like the way that he uses uh, his rockets. They're very stylish. He's not really moving his mouse much. It, it looks, in fact, he makes it look extremely easy what he's doing. So, uh, yeah, that rocket was just awesome. I think he's going to have another one in a second. He kind of fires it in front of him uh, before he's landed the jump. Does it again. And then more standard rocket jump here. And carries the speed over uh, to the end, so... Yeah. That, that, that's just, uh, I give it style points on the basis that it just looks elegant. It looks smooth. You know, he's not, he doesn't look sort of uh, flustered at all when playing. He just looked like he was he was digging that run. And when I'm going for fast runs on, on Racing Quake Live, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. When I know I'm on a fast run and I've got through like 90% of it, I start freaking out and I'm like, am I going to get the personal best I've been working for for the last four hours or am I not? And I kind of just lose my mind at that point. <laughs> yeah, and then your mouse starts getting all shaky. Yeah, I've yeah. Been there. <laughs> <laughs> And we got a uh, Lith now, who he was—he's the VQ3 partner for Baz, but he actually managed to make it into the top 20 for uh, CPM. So I mean, I mean, fair play, but maybe he's getting a b just focus on VQ3, Lith. Jesus. Yeah, he should. I think he told me that he only spends like maybe 30 minutes in CPM. I don't and he's know how accurate that is. He's very good at CPM as a thing, so like if if he were to do CPM only, he would actually probably get really I'm gonna play it again by the way, he'd probably get a really good time I reckon. Cause he's he's just got a I, w I would say a natural gift, but he's worked hard on it already. But he just seems to have an absolute knack for it. His rockets are good, he's increased he's got nice speed increases, I think maybe just a slight alteration of his route and it would be a much better time. Yeah, for sure. He's very good CPM player. UK represent. That's all I've got. We're going over to Gopa. He was in top 20. I think he was in the top 10 in the VQ3. Mm, yeah, yeah. And he's kind of rationing his rockets as well. And, and the last few people we've seen have all been getting to about 2,100 UPS by the end. And it seems to be a bit of a style for like the last uh, the last six players or so. Have all been have all been doing that, and we're still slowly increasing. The next person is only uh, 